Oh my god, I found some beach puppies! Look at this little fella! Sucking on my toe. But wait, there's another one right over here. Hey buddy! Hello! Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel Escaping Comfort Zone. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe because there is plenty of ventures to come, trust me. And welcome to a new country, Sri Lanka. So I arrived here two days ago, I've got the best view, check out this view. We've got the ocean right over there and this is the view of all Sri Lanka right from my hostel and I also got a pool just down there. Such an epic hostel. This is called Islands Hostel um, around Mount Lavina. So this is not too far from Colombo. But there's one main big reason I am in Sri Lanka and I haven't told you guys why, but the reason is because I'm gonna be doing a tuk-tuk tournament. That's right. So there is a tuk-tuk rental company. It's actually not far from here. It's like just down the road really. Um, I'll put a link in the description, the tuktukrental.com. So they are holding a Tuk Tuk tournament. They're even sponsored by Red Bull for it. I think they've been doing it for the past three years. Um, but one of my friends told me about it years ago. I was so stoked to, to do it. So I got the first, I like got, got one of the flights over here and it's gonna begin in the next few days. I'm not gonna tell you everything about it because I kind of want to inform you more about the tournament over the next coming days and there's a lot of different things I want to try with my videos, so. But in the meantime, it's morning, I'm hungry, so let's go get breakfast. Okay, so this is the main street around Mount Lavina, and as you can see, very busy and very loud. Uh, it's fairly similar to like Indonesia, but I think Sri Lanka takes the win just because they got so many big like buses and trucks around here, and you'll see tuk-tuks driving everywhere. So tuk-tuks are very common around Sri Lanka and India. Um, it's a very, it's a really good means of transportation as well. So they actually do Uber here. Um, like a lot of other parts around Asia, they didn't do Uber, they did the, um, what's it called, Grab. Yeah, but they do Uber here, and another one equivalent to Uber is Pick Me. So if you want a cheap ride, um, <clears throat> use Uber or Pick Me. And I have actually driven a tuk-tuk, because yesterday when I arrived, I got an Uber, and I was just looking at sort of how the Uber driver was driving the tuk-tuk, and I was so amazed that he's like, you want to drive? It was like, drive the tuk-tuk? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll let you drive. I'll let you drive for a bit. I was like, okay, sure, I'll have a drive. And yeah, I drove the tuk-tuk for probably, I don't know, five minutes or something down the road. Uh, it, it's, it's not hard to drive, but it's different. Because, I don't know, the gears, you gotta, it's, it's like a motorbike slash car. Because you got the clutch, and you got to twi um, twist it to change the gears. But yeah, during the tournament, I'm gonna to be riding a tuk-tuk all the time, so I'll definitely need to learn how to drive it. Hi there. Um, I don't know, what do you recommend? <laughs> what, is, what is this? That is a milk gravy. Milk gravy? Yeah. Okay. Um, I might, I might yeah, get. I is it is it spicy at all? No, no, no spicy. No spicy. Okay. No, I'll get. Yeah, I'll get a bit of rice with the noodles. Yeah. Some of that. And the lentils. Yeah. Then could I get two eggs? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at the proportion of this. So, not. 
exactly sure what some of it is, but I think he said like milk gravy, but it's more like just rice, noodles, lentils, and to top it off with some eggs. But it is a big proportion. Don't know how much it is, but I'll see in the end. Holy moly, note to self, they serve huge proportions for Sri Lanka. So, what I just bought, that was 350 Sri Lankan dollars. So, the currency here, one Australian dollar is about 120 Sri Lankan, uh, Sri Lankan rupee, and one US is around 180. So, this was 350, this was $2.80 Australian. So cheap and this is what I have left of it. I physically could not eat it all. Like, it was way too much. So, $2.80, I'm full as, and I've got leftovers. How freaking good is that? I'm pretty sure this is the cheapest food I've had, um, I've had so far throughout Asia. Okay, so I decided to leave that main road just because it was getting far too chaotic and loud. So I'm just heading down, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going. I'm heading this way, I'm gonna to try to find the beach. So much more peaceful here though. Um, and the weather, okay, so the weather in Sri Lanka, at the moment it's October and it's hot. It's very hot and humid, but it's that's sort of like majority of Asia in general, I feel. Um, I don't know when the monsoon season is, but during this time it has been raining a fair bit usually in the afternoon so it's like nice beautiful sunny day throughout the whole day and then later in the afternoon there's a fair bit of rain so another good means of transportation around here is getting the train so the railway line is actually very close to the beach here train tracks here beach is just across there um, and you can just if you need to cross the tracks you can because i was walking with one of the locals the other day and he's like Oh yeah, that's fine. Everyone just walks on the train tracks. And he also told me that it's very cheap. Like, I, th I don't know the exact fares, but he said like for one dollar, for like one Australian dollar or something, you could go very, very far. Um, and you've probably seen photos of a Sri Lankan train, like a blue train on Instagram a lot, going through the beautiful tea plantations. So there's like some beautiful tracks to um, where the trains go around Sri Lanka. But at the moment, I'm going to try to get across to see if I can get to the beach. Oh my god, I found some beach puppies! Look at this little fella! Suck it on my toe. But wait, there's another one right over here. Hey buddy! Hello! Oh, dogs here are so much more friendlier than other dogs in <laughs> different Asian countries I've been to. You're so cute, aren't ya? Look at you. <laughs> yeah, so along this whole beach, this is known as like the fishing village. So as you can see, there's like boats all along the beaches, all fishing boats. Um, I wish I could say this beach was a nice, clean, pretty beach, but the sad truth is there is rubbish everywhere like this. Just over here is a mountain of rubbish. It's horrible to see things like that, but that is the sad truth, guys. Um, and local people. So what are the local people like? Well, from yesterday and today, lo local Sri Lankans, they seem very friendly. Like, don't get me wrong, they seem very friendly. They always come up to you, wanting to chat to you, but they always try to beg for money. I, 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 don't see that as a bad thing because yeah they're struggling but I've oh, it's just put you in a really hard situation because every single day at least two people three people have come up to me begging for money um, like they seem like really nice people they show me around for a bit but they're always I don't know they always want to get something out of you <laughs> even all the little kids they're always coming up like, I would like to help everyone out I've given money out here and there but it's just a struggle to do it all the time. There you go, mate. <laughs> it seems like too much for a yeah, coconut, that's how you though. Buy, yeah, you buy this one. You buy? I thought you would just well, cut them off the coconut no, I'll buy, trees. I'll buy, sure. I, I can give you. Uh, what about 
200. No, no. 220. No, mate. I buy this for 500. 500. Yeah, sure. And that's another prime example of how the locals try to get money off you. So I was just walking down the beach still, and then a local come up to me trying to sell me a coconut. I said, no, I don't want a coconut. I'm fine. But he just, nah, didn't want to take no for an answer. He kept trying to stop me walking down the beach, kept following me. And then he pretty much got to the point where he's cut open the coconut, sat me down, handed me to the coconut, still didn't want it, didn't want to leave. So I was like, okay, I've got a coconut, I may as well bloody have it. Um, and then he charged me 500 rupees for it. Okay, so 500 rupees for one coconut, that's a lot. That's the most I've ever paid for a coconut in all of Asia. And he said he paid 450 rupees for that one coconut himself. I was like, mate, it's a coconut, there's coconut trees along this whole entire beach. You just cut it down and then you sell it. You didn't buy it. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to start being a little bit more stricter on what I say yes to. I just I just gotta be no, nope. no, nah, sorry mate. <laughs> I don't want anything. Because this because traveling at this rate, my money will just go way too quick. Alright, uh, how much are the coconuts? How much are the coconuts? 60. Alright, no worries, thank you. See? And that is how much coconuts are supposed to cost around here. 60 rupee, and I paid 500. I, I told you it was ripping me off. I could literally buy eight coconuts for almost the price I paid for that one coconut. Ah, oh, oh well. Live and learn, live and learn. <laughs> I bumped into another guy on the street, and he, yeah, it was a nice, he was a really nice guy. That got other guy bumped onto the street, and he had a chat to me, and he's like, oh, take my card. So he just gave me his card. He's like, call me. <laughs> He's AIA insurance. I was like, yeah, yeah, mate. We'll definitely call you down the track. <laughs> All right, so I just ran into a little issue. Well, it was a bit of a big issue. <laughs> I was flying my drone from here. I've never seen my drone do this before. Like I had a fair distance out and then it said, cannot fly automatically landing in like 10 seconds. And I'm like, what, what, what? So I flew it back to as close as I could get it. And it, I had to land it down in that park. So. It landed by itself down to that park. I'm gonna to have to get it now. Oh my god, I'm so lucky I actually managed to get it to the ground at least. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> right, thanks, guys. Oh man, I have just had way too many close calls with that drone. Oh, I cannot believe how lucky I was to land it in that little park over there. And a big thanks to the guy at the hostel because he helped me sort of run around and go grab it. Um, yeah, but I just looked into it for the rules. So, because I asked the owner, the owner of the hostel, because he said it was fine for me to fly it around here. Um, and he said, like, heaps of other people have flown it prior um, around this area. And it kind of makes sense now. I don't know if you've heard of it, but they had some big bombings in April this year. Um, but ever since then, they said the official added that no person shall engage in the operation of such pilotless aircraft within the territory of Sri Lanka until further notice. So, yeah, you, I'd, I'm pretty sure I'm just not allowed to fly my drone around all of Sri Lanka. You, you were previously until these bombings occurred. Um, but I don't know how long they're going to keep that rule on for. And I might see if I can fly in a different part of Sri Lanka, but if it, if that sort of, if that error message comes up and it tries to land by itself again, then nah, I'm not even gonna try again. But, so that's a warning guys, if you're in Sri Lanka, you wanna fly a drone, then just be careful of that, depending on the time you come. Well, I am very hot and I've had a big, big day. <laughs> I'm gonna chill in the pool, I reckon. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that is so good. Oh man, hostels that have a pool literally tops it off so much. All right, so I'm probably gonna end the video there, guys. Um, oh yeah, I better talk a little bit more about my tournament. So as I said, I don't want to go too much into the details about the Tuk Tuk tournament because there's a few things I wanna talk about um, when I make my next videos uh, before I do it. And I want to try to do my videos a little bit differently doing this tournament. So I'm going to try to aim towards having it as like a mini series. Um, but I'll see how I go. It'll be something totally different. And yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it all goes good. And I'm really looking forward to it. 
and tomorrow I'll be looking for my costumes for the Tuk Tuk tournament. So this tournament goes for two weeks and it's pretty much over a period of 10 days is the actual tournament and all the other days is sort of like they they sort of train you how to drive the tuk tuks and they inform you what's going on and we also have like parties throughout the days as well which would be cool and that is why i gotta look for a costume <laughs> um but tournament starts on the 20th so in a couple more days two more days whatever today is i don't even know what today is so i'm really really looking forward to it and if you win you win 2000 us dollars and i had a talk to the tuk tuk rental company as well and they said there's probably going to be around 30 teams so there's going to be heaps of people i'm going to meet up with and my teammate is i'm pretty sure he was from scotland so i'm going to meet up with him tomorrow hopefully and there was two big youtubers that are doing this tournament as well so one of the main reasons i'm doing this tournament is because my friend heard from this youtuber and then he told me so this is the main reason i am here uh, well, this YouTuber's name is Steve Yarlow. If you haven't checked his YouTube channel out, check it out because he has got some great content. And then the other big YouTuber is The Travelling Clat. He has also got some awesome content. So be sure to check him out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But yeah, that's it guys. So I don't really want to spoil too much. So I'll tell you more in the future when I make my next videos. Um, I've had a great time here in Sri Lanka for the past few days. I've been here. And as I said, the people are super friendly. It's just, I run into the casual people that always try to get money off me. But that is quite common in Asia in general. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and get ready for this Tuk Tuk tournament. Yo!